Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenna. I'm so glad that you are here. I have a surprise for you guys. I decided to do an advent calendar unboxing for you. Um, shh, it's a surprise for my daughter actually, but we have one that we reuse every single year. And so I'm gonna put the pieces in her advent calendar when I'm done opening them because I would have to open them anyway. <laughs> So I want to share it with you because it is the Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. I'm so, so super stoked about this. So here we go. I'm going to show you the box. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually film this with this cute little, um, like a gift tag here so you can put their name on it. And it says to and from. I'm so I'm I'm so excited. So this year's um, Lego Harry Potter calendar tells like a story, and it's like it's really neat. Okay, so you have to see it. So let us, without further ado, I'm going to actually change the camera a bit, and I'm going to just show you what comes out of the calendar. Um, and then I have a little bonus. Um, goody but I don't know we might we might open the bonus first I'm yeah maybe we'll do the bonus first um so I also found this which I was really excited about and if there's other ones of these in the Harry Potter line I have not seen them um and I'm sure there probably are so this is the um and I love it because it has the wizard card collectibles in them um yes please like the little chocolate frog wizard cards um, this one is 30392. It's Hermione's study desk. I have to get on Lego and see what other ones they have um, because I totally missed the train on these. I think it's so cute. Um, so I got this one. Now, of course, we also have Hermione, I'm pretty, I'm assuming, also in this set. Um, but I'm so stoked about this. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I'm gonna do the bonus one first. So let me get the camera down here and we're gonna do a build together. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey everybody. Okay, so I think this camera angle is going to work. So we're going to do the bonus one first. And I am, I don't know, this one, I don't know if I'm gonna give this one to her or I think I might keep this one. I like. I love me some Lego, so this is not just a my kiddo thing. Oh, all the pieces. I love it so much. Okay, so this is what we're going to do first. And, of course, you have your, whoop, your little pamphlet that comes with it. And your directions. Here's all the directions. And here's what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Of course, Hermione has two expressions. I like the smiley expression on her, so that's the one we're going to go with, the smiley expression. build we have Hermione here with her wand and her little acceptance letter or a letter this cool book which has like an herbology theme to it and it opens and closes I love that we've got her desk back here with a little quill and it's really neat because it moves like you can move the desk um, to a slant or not and then you've got your little owl on his perch and his letter that he's gonna deliver. And then here we have our collectible chocolate frog card. I love it. That looks like a Lockhart to me. What do you guys think? Anyways, I thought this was really cute. I don't think we have any other chocolate frog cards. I'm gonna have to look. We did have a few extra pieces from the Hermione build, which is fine. Um, that happens with Lego. 
I'd rather have extra than miss a piece. All right, so here we go. Here is our... Dun, 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 dun. Here is our Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar. This is really cool. So this year it looks like they have a game board um, and numbered pieces on where to put each of the days. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, so let's find day number one, which is right here. And we're gonna pop this little baby open. Okay. And it looks like, I don't know if the directions are on it, but it looks like we have Privet Drive. So we have our little bag of pieces. Take a look here. Ooh. All right. So you can look off of the picture, I guess, on the box. So we're going to do that. And so we have our, our privet drive with our little letter on top. And that goes on number one. Okay, let's find number two. Here we go. I think this is going to be a character piece. I'm kind of hoping so. All right. Oh, yeah. This is looks like Harry. Looks like Harry. All right. Yep, we got Harry. Which, of course, he has two expressions on his face. He's got his smile and then his... Ah! Or a worried face, however you want to look at it. I, I think it's funny. So there is Harry. Put him over here. All right, number three. It's up here in the top. And I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe it's a two-parter. That's something. Wow, that's a lot of, a lot of brick. Okay, so it looks like it's the start of a fireplace. So let's open up four and see if that completes it. Because it seems like that would be... Oh, okay. It seems like maybe that would be the thing. Oh, okay. I think I figured it out. So this is the fire... This is a fireplace. It That was an interesting... But it took me a second to figure this out. I think it goes this way. And then this comes up and down. Like this. I think this is how this is supposed to go. All right, so we're gonna put that on day three. All right, so now we have day four. Now that I figured that out, it took me a second. Okay, so let's go on to day four. Yay, oh, this is cute. This is really cute, it's a little fireplace. They have a holly wreath. You've got your shovel and your um, broom. And then of course, you know, you have the no post on Sundays. And then they come flying out of the fireplace and you got all of your little acceptance letters that's really awesome all right so we're gonna put this back together and put it on day three so that was really three and four technically with our little acceptance letters flying around we'll put them kind of all over the place instead of back in the fireplace there we go okay so let's look at day five so let's see here What's the next thing that happens? They go, so they got post and then they go to the, oh, it's Harry's birthday cake. This is so cool. I don't know if we've ever done a Harry Potter um, advent. These are really cute. I'm loving these. Okay, so you have to make the box. So you just, you know, put together the box. Then you have your cake, which does, of course, say, Happy Birthday, Harry. That's really adorable. I love it so much. And then it goes into the box. And then you can, you know, have your, your cake box. So you have a little box, pastry box with the cake inside. That is so cool. Okay, so we have our happy birthday Harry cake that will go on part five. Now looks at, let's see, we're on six right here. 
These are so much fun. All right, looks like we have another mini fig. This one looks like Dudley in his PJs. Let's take a look here in all of his glory. Oh my goodness, y'all, he's got a curly tail on the back. That is too good. When Hagrid has had enough, you don't mess with Hagrid. So you have him looking all smug, and then you can turn him around when he realizes he has a tail and he's freaking out. It's so funny. We're gonna go with a freaking out face because that's just too good. Dudley. So that goes with the cake because you know, he shouldn't have been eating Harry's cake. Okay, seven. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably move some of the things to get into this. I didn't think about that part as I'm setting it up. All right. What is this? Oh, it's a sign. Oh, this is cool. There goes my doggy. So we've got this really great sign and look, it's to the Leaky Cauldron. That is amazing. I, I love this sign. Look at that. Okay. And there you go. You have a little sign for the leaky cauldron. That is really fun. I love that. Okay, so they're obviously going to Diagon Alley. Um, so what do you think is an eight? If they, they got to the leaky cauldron, what do you think is next? Ooh! Oh, I like it. It's a table. Actually, I really like this. I don't know if people would be as excited about these as I am, like these little ones, but like it's a table with like a pitcher and stuff on it. That's really cute for the Leaky Cauldron. Okay. So we have a little table for the Leaky Cauldron. There's a bottle and a couple of mugs. Super cute. So we're gonna put that there. Now we're on nine. Where is nine? Nine is hiding back here. Okay, we're gonna have to move some stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, that's a lot of bricks. Okay, okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to move Dudley. <laughs> Things are gonna have to move. Um, this looks like an interactive Diagon Alley entrance. So now we have our Diagon Alley wall, and you just wave your wand and there we have it, they separate. Which, this is a pretty solid build, this is awesome. It's actually um, the same piece, just turned upside down. So you only have to build it, I mean, you basically build the same thing twice, and then there's your Diagon Alley wall. And that is really cute. Okay, so we're gonna put our stuff back until we have to get into 16 and 17, which... So that goes in front of where the Leaky Cauldron would be. There's that. And now we have, what door did that come out of? We just did nine. Okay, so now we're on door 10. Where is door 10? I'm like, oh, it's way over here on the front. It was like the very first one. All right, let's see what this one is. Oh, it looks like it's Gringotts. That makes sense. Okay, so we've got Gringotts out of door 10 here. So let's build this one. So we have our little Gringotts desk here. I love this, it's really cool. Look at the, the detail, they have like the scrolling on it and then you have the little light. So this is, so I'm gonna guess that the next one, which is 11, so it goes here, is going to be Grip Hook. I'm just guessing because that would make sense, right? Um, where's 11? There it is. Half the fun is hunting for it. Yep. Check him out. My favorite little banker. All right. Well, that's really cool. Okay, so like, I've never seen Grip Hook have a double expression like the others. So he's got his normal one here. And then look, there's a new one. So I wonder, I wonder what that means. 
Does that mean something? I don't know. I feel like it's double rainbow. We can get him on here. Okay. So here is a grip hook. That's so cool. And then we've got his key. Oh, that's really neat. There you go. So he's got his key sitting up on the his big desk. Okay, so that was number 11. What do you think is in 12? I'm like, this is really fun. Oh, it's the trolley! It's the trolley for Gringotts. All right, so we've got the trolley. That is really cool. You've got like a little light on the back here. I love that. That is like super neat. And you could put, um, you know, your Harry and your grip hook in the front and they can ride the trolley. That is awesome. That is really awesome. Okay. So now we're on day 13, which is up here. This is so much fun. All right. Any of you guys Lego fans, tell me in the comments below. I'm like super curious who loves Lego stuff. I loved Legos. I had um, only a few styles of toys as a kid and Lego was one of them. Legos, Matchbox cars, um, and Barbies were kind of my thing and Play-Doh and stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know what this is. I, I have no idea what I'm building here. Okay. I'm looking at the picture, but I don't know what it is yet. Um, we will find out. I have, okay, we'll find out. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, I put it together and now I totally get it. It's the vault, see? So, that's the vault door. Okay, so that was number 13. And, oh, it looks like and 14. So 13, there's an and 14 right behind it. So I'm guessing 14, what do you guys think? It's what's gonna be in the vault, right? So like, it should be like gold and stuff, I guess. Is that kind of a telltale? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a pile of treasure. That's fun. Who doesn't like a good old fashioned pile of treasure? I do, I do, I do, I like it. Okay. All right. So it looks like, and I'm glad that they give you a thing to pile all of the little pieces on too. <laughs> Cause otherwise that would have been kind of like awkward and bizarre. Um. All right, so we're just gonna pile this gold onto this lovely little thing. My my kiddo is gonna have so much fun doing this because I'm taking all of these apart for her to build um, for Christmas. So she is going to love this. How about you guys? Who's gonna get the Lego Advent Calendar? I would. Any Harry Potter fan? that also loves Legos, I think would love this because this is really fun. Um, but you know, that's just, that's just me. Maybe one here, that looks kind of varied. I don't know why my dog's going crazy. I think because the kiddo's going in and out of the house. All right, here we go. So we have our vault. And it looks like you even can put like the key, like Grip Hook's key in the little thing if you wanted to, the one you're playing. And then you open it up and look at all the gold. You have a little pile of gold back here. That's really fun. Okay, so that's gonna be, that's 14, 13 and 14. Goes here. All right, so now we are on door 15, which is over here. I have no idea what's next. I should, like, I feel like I should know this. What is this? It looks like, ooh, a book? Okay, we got like some books. Oh, this must be like his supplies. Okay, so we've got our wands, um, a book, which I, you know, they put a book in, the one that it came with Hermione has um, like an herbology thing. This one is just a blank book. So, I mean, maybe it's a notebook and it's meant to be blank, but I think it would have been really fun if they had actually put some writing or something fun inside of the book. You know, that would have been nice. That would have been a nice detail. I would have liked that. But, hey, what are you gonna do? And then this is, oh, no way! It's a wand box. 
It's a little wand box. Okay, so you have to take a wand off of the thing, which, I mean, they give you two, which is good, because sometimes you lose little pieces. So you can put the little wand inside of the wand box. Oh my goodness. And then you have a little lid for the wand box. So you have a wand box and a book. So here are some of Harry's supplies. So that was 15. We'll open up the book. There we go. So we have 15. He has his wand box and his book. And so 16, which is down here, is. Oh, I'm so glad. Look, it's Hedwig. Oh, this makes me so happy. Oh, this is the day for me. Day 16 is the day for me. Oh my goodness. Check it out. So we have, my poor dog, I'm so sorry. The girls are playing outside and she just wants to go play. We have Hedwig and Oh my goodness, and we have a chocolate frog card. Who is on our chocolate frog card? Oh, check it out, that's really cool. I'm not sure who this one's supposed to be. If anybody knows who this is supposed to be, um, let me know. I have no idea. It, I mean, it doesn't look like Dumbledore, and it kind of looks like Hagrid, but like he wouldn't be on a wizard's card, right? So, I don't know, I don't know who this is. If you know who this is, let me know in the comments below. And then we've got a little chocolate frog. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He is the cutest little chocolate frog ever. Oh my goodness. Ah! I just love it so much. And then, look, you get a platform nine and three quarters ticket. What? You get a platform nine and three quarters ticket? That's amazing. Okay. All right, so that was day 16, and I'm like in love with day 16, so I kind of can't wait to see what's in day 17. This is a solid calendar. Okay, I'm just really enjoying this. Um, oh, it's the trolley to put all of the, his stuff on. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm glad because then we have something to put it all on. All right, so let's build a trolley. All right, so we have our trolley, and it, of course it rolls. And so we can load up our trolley with his supplies. So we have a wand box. I guess we could put that here. And like maybe the book over here. And Hedwig can go on top. And he's got his little platform nine and three quarters ticket. I don't know where to put that one. I don't know. Maybe we put the book in the other way. Will the book fit the other way? No. <laughs> How do we? Oh, I know. Okay, so we put the book in, and then we can put the ticket like on top here. That'll fit, right? Yeah, the ticket will fit on top. That's cute. Oh, that's cute. And then, I mean, he doesn't have his chocolate frog yet or his chocolate frog card, but there you go. So he's got his little trolley with a head wig. And his platform nine and three quarters um, ticket. And here we go. Okay, so that was 17. So 15 and 17 are supposed to go together. Okay, so after I started editing, I realized that I actually skipped door 18. So we're gonna do door 18. <laughs> so door 18. Oh, see, okay, this is funny because I finished filming and then went, wait, why did we not get a Ron? <laughs> it's a Ron and guess what? He has a chocolate frog card too. Oh my goodness, what? So you're not going to see Ron in the final, um, you're not going to see Ron in the final shot that I did for everything together, okay? So I'm just saying, cause I already did that, but I want to just show you Ron and I will add him to this little scene. So of course Ron's got his, and I know that some of these shots, like some of these close-ups, are not going to be horribly in focus, but don't worry at the end, I have a really great, um, 
detailed shot of all of these. So he's got his ah face and his I'm happy face. And since he's got a chocolate frog, let's make Ron happy. So we're going to put his happy face on. So here is Ron with his little happy face. And he's got his wands. Now I love this because every character seems to be coming with um, two sets of wands, which means they actually have four wands in general. Um, I seriously finished this and as I'm walking out the door to go to my computer, I'm like, why did I not get a Ron in this box? I felt like I missed something. And I did. I missed day 18. So here is his little chocolate frog, which they are, these are adorable. They're like, these chocolate frogs are so cute. You'll see. You'll see. All right, so I'm gonna put this one down and then let's look at the card. <gasps> oh, look! Oh! Okay, now to be fair, is this supposed to be Trelawney? Is that like who this is supposed to be? I don't know. Can you guys tell me? Like, I feel like I'm really bad at these, but there you go. So there's my chocolate frog card. Um, so now I have three total, which is really cool. And we have a little Ron Ron, <laughs> according to Lavender, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. I feel better knowing that, that Ron was in here. He, so he was number 18. And then we have number 19 next, which is over here. I am just, these are so great. I think 16 is still my favorite day. That was the, uh, that was, um, Hedwig and the nine and three quarters and the, yeah, all the goodies. All right, so I'm not sure if this is supposed to be, oh, it looks like it's a platform nine and three quarters. So now we get to go to platform nine and three quarters. So here is platform nine and three quarters. I love this so much. This was a really good build. This is solid piece and it is really, I just love the print on here. This is so great. Okay, so this was day 19 and that's gonna go right here by the trolley. This is great. Okay, and then we have 20. Oh, we're getting towards the end, guys. That makes me sad. But, okay, I was gonna say, we have to have some more figures in here. So we have Hermione. And then we're gonna have a Ron, right? I mean, you'd think we'd have Ron. So we're gonna put Hermione together. There is Hermione, and I think she's the same. Oh no, she has got a different. So this is the Hermione that came with the study desk, and she's got like her Gryffindor robes, and this is Hermione before that because we're not at Hogwarts yet, I guess. Uh, let's put her like over here. Okay, so that was 20. I always love minifigs. I'm all about the minifigs. All right, 20, 21. Where's 21? Anybody? Can anybody see 21? I see 22. I see, oh, there's 21. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so this is Hogwarts. We're at Hogwarts now. I kind of would have loved if they had done like a boat for the first years or something. I think that would have been really cute, but this has a pumpkin in it, so I'm not gonna complain because who doesn't love a good pumpkin? <laughs> I think Lego pumpkins are so stinking cute. Okay. okay, so now we have our little feast table. And it's just a little table. You've got your a pumpkin and this little like baguette and a bowl of cherries. So it wasn't a wreath, it was actually cherries. And that is so cute. That is our Hogwarts feast. And that came out of door 21. So that goes here. Put our little bread baguette there. Okay, so now we have 22, which is kind of in the middle here, so hopefully I don't knock anything over. And oh, we've got another minifig, and it's Draco. I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. I'm so glad to see him join the party. He looks He's looking all smug like Draco. Should look. That's pretty great. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there was our next door. Now we are on, oh my gosh, we only have two left, don't we? So we have 23 and 24, so let's do 23. And it looks like a Christmas tree. How fun is that? And look, it's got stars in here. That's cool. Wow. All right, so here we have our day 23 Christmas tree. 
It's got a little star on the top. That's cute. It's an interesting looking tree. I've seen, I, I hesitate to say better, but I've seen more detailed, I guess, tree-like trees from Lego before. Um, but I like this tree. It's a fun tree. All right, so we have one more to go, and that is 24 Christmas Eve. And it looks like this is a game board, right? So 24 is your spinner for your game, which I will explain here in a second. And I'll give you a little tour of all of our little items as we go around and kind of see what each one is. Okay, so let's get the spinner built. This is the spinner bag. All right, so here we have our spinner, and you can see it has the negative two, the move forward four, minus one, and plus three. That is a really cute spinner, and it does spin. So, we've got our spinner and our boards. Let's take a look around the game board. So we get to start over here at Privet Drive, and then we get to come back here on the board and we see here is the fireplace. We've got Harry's birthday cake. Then he comes out to Diagon Alley and goes to the Leaky Cauldron. Um, and that is, then we go to Gringotts, the vault. Um, and here is that with the trolley. And then we go all the way over to the vault with the gold. Here's the vault. And then we get to go to platform nine and three quarters. You can see, and so we have our bonus little chocolate frog and chocolate frog card here after they get on to Hogwarts Express. And we have our lovely feast at Halloween. There's Draco. And then our Christmas tree. And then this kind of explains, so it's journey to Hogwarts, spin to play, and you spin your spinner so you spin your spinner and then it lands on whatever number it lands on so I get to move forward four pieces or four tracks that is really really super cool this is a super fun advent calendar I had a lot of fun with this today all right, that was our advent calendar. What did you guys think? In your comments below, tell me what your favorite piece of advent calendar was and what your thoughts were of the extra Hermione study desk um, bonus that I had. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.